2014 umbrella movement, the single protest that resulted in a mass ruckus of violence and disturbance to the people. What really happened? Why? Why did this happen? Well, let's find out. And here is the umbrella movement. After Hong Kong stopped being a co British colony in 1997 and gained some autonomy, however, China gained sovereignty over the country. Recently, Beijing insists that the candidates for the chief executive position must be passed through a committee of pro-Beijing figures. However, Hong Kong protesters demanded full democracy. They want the right to nominate and direct elect the head of the Hong Kong government. On September 26, 2014, the umbrella protest was initiated by Hong Kong students who fought against the police with sit-ins and protests with their umbrellas. So for in order to gain more democracy and political freedom for Hong Kong. by a group called Occupy Center with Love and Peace, which is led by Hong Kong University Law Professor Benny Tai. And here is his view. In theory, they should have the responsibility, but I think we will not rely upon their willingness to fulfill that responsibility for our democratic movement. I think uh, we will rely upon our own people to get democracy for ourselves, rather than relying on. And now, if they say something on this, well, that is your responsibility. You should. But um, we don't, we don't uh, kind of think that uh, it will be critical to us, because I think it is a people's movement, and we believe that it must be from the Hong Kong people ourselves. To start off the protest, it began in the city's financial district, which is in the bottom left-hand side corner of the picture. And then it spread to parallel sit-ins in the Causeway Bay and across the water in Kowloon, which is the island up north and the main island on the bottom. Since September of 2014, over 20... 200 thousands of protesters have occupied the main port through fairs of Hong Kong and pressed demands for a genuine election of the chief executive of Hong Kong in, in 2017. Mainly consisting of students, the police initially responded with tear gas, to which the protesters defended themselves with umbrellas, hence giving the movement its popular name. The government still backed them up. Even through, even through times of chaos, the movement was very peaceful and united as one. On the other hand, the majority of the older generation opposed it because they are mainly conservatives and they're afraid of hurting China and their reputation. Fearful of what could happen with Tiananmen uprising in Beijing in 1989, in which 241 people were murdered, combined with 700,000 citizens were wounded in demonstration for democratic form. Therefore, they were very fearful of what could happen with this uprising movement from the younger generations.
The white paper released in June 10th of 2014 stated that Beijing had control over Hong Kong. This offended many more citizens as it strongly emphasizes that only pro-Beijing candidates can run for election. The system was hella rigged and therefore caused many people to be outraged. After three long months of sit-ins and daily protests, it all quietly ended on December 15th of 2014 when the police dismantled the last remaining roads and high rails in where the protesters were. Many were, were arrested around a dozen people and the remaining protesters were angry for what they not, had not accomplished but it signified the beginning. Consequently, the movement showed that the Hong Kong police are untrustworthy since they used tear gas and pepper spray and did nothing when pro-Beijing thugs were harassing protesters. They were so cruel in their actions that the citizens stated that they were shocked. As you can see, the Hong Kong satisfaction rate in, of the police gradually decreased. Although the movement failed, they achieved international notice and therefore China has no excuse. For instance, in Korea, as shown in this video, they got people to support the movement and lots of people in other countries such as the Korea, US and democratic societies around the world get gained support, Sim showed their sympathy towards Hong Kong. Yeah, the literature from the Korean people and Hong Kong people and the foreign people in Korea in order to gaining the support from all around the world in Korea, all around the world, all the people around the world in Korea, in order to say that, in order to raise this uh, protest into an international level and let more people know about what the real situation is, and what the real situation in Hong Kong. Today, people in Hong Kong are speaking out for their universal rights. So here in Asia and around the world, America supports free and fair elections because citizens must be free to choose their own leaders. As in Thailand, where we are urging a quick return to inclusive civilian rule. We support freedom of assembly and freedom of speech and freedom of the press, a free and open internet, strong civil societies, because the voices of people must be heard and leaders must be held accountable. Even though it's uncomfortable sometimes, I promise you, if you lead a country, there are times where you are aggravated with people voicing opinions that seem to think you're doing something wrong. And you'd prefer everybody just praise you. I understand. But that's not how societies move forward. We support strong institutions and independent judiciaries and open government because the rule of force must give way to the rule of law. And in that same fashion, the United States will continue to stand up for the inherent dignity of every human being. The umbrella showed the uprising power of the young generations willingness to fight, organize, and become very interested in politics. This, this shows us that they are very engaged in the community and they will continue to improve Hong Kong's economy and engage their government in the future.